Good morning, everybody. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, Mr. Bissinger here. I'm going to be bringing you another book today from the Scaredy Squirrel series, Scaredy Squirrel at the Beach. I chose this book because, like some of us, I'm missing the beach. So, Scaredy Squirrel at the Beach by Melanie Watt. Warning, Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone put on number 65 sunscreen before reading this book. Scaredy Squirrel never goes to the beach. He'd rather vacation at home alone where it's safe than risk being surrounded by the wrong crowd. Few crowds Scaredy Squirrel wouldn't want to be caught in the middle of. Herds of sea monsters, packs of pirates, flocks of seagulls, tribes of jellyfish, tons of falling coconuts, mobs of lobsters. So he's perfectly happy to build his very own private beach. Scaredy Squirrel's Guide to Building a Safe Beach. What you need to get started. Paper and crayons, one stick, one inflatable pool, one flashlight, one bag of kitty litter, one plastic flamingo. Number one, draw beach scenery. Number two, use stick to hold upright. Number three, cover ground with sand. Number four, inflate ocean. Number five, turn on sunlight. And number six, install beach wildlife and enjoy. It looks like a beach and feels like a beach, but it doesn't sound like one. Scaredy Squirrel notices something's missing, the soothing sound of the ocean. The solution? Make a quick trip to the real beach and find a seagull that fits the description below. Excuse me, find a seashell that fits the description below. Seashell, quality and performance chart, germ-free, shiny exterior, crystal clear ocean sound, Red alert, seashell, must not, I repeat, not be occupied. But traveling to the real beach requires careful planning. First, get a passport. Second, draw a map. Beach map, mission, operation, seashell. 7 a.m., enter box and wait, don't forget passport. 7.30 a.m., get picked up by the mail truck, verify passport. 8.42 a.m. Arrive at the beach and wait until the coast is clear. Don't lose passport. 11.42 a.m. Exit box and find seashell. Hold passport. 1.49 p.m. Enter box and wait for pickup. Check passport. 6 p.m. Get delivered back to Nut Tree. Put away passport. Here's his map here of where he thinks the seashell is. And last but not least, travel light and dress accordingly. Scaredies Beachwear. This squirrel is a trained professional. Don't try this at home. Exhibit A, protective headgear for falling coconuts. Exhibit B, protective eye patch to fool pirates. Exhibit C, protective flotation device to prevent sinking. Exhibit D, protective camera to discourage sea monsters. Exhibit E, protective compass to avoid getting lost. Exhibit F, protective foot gear to shield from jellyfish. Exhibit G, protective rubber bands to tame lobsters. Exhibit H, protective oven mitts to block germs. Exhibit I, protective french fry to distract seagulls. Remember, if all else fails, lay dead and send an SOS. The next morning, as planned, Scaredy Squirrel jumps into the box. At 7.30 a.m., he gets picked up. They drive and drive. At 8.42 a.m., Scaredy gets dropped off and waits and waits. 11.42 a.m. A crowd appears. People are not part of the plan. Scaredy Squirrel panics and plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later, finally, Scaredy Squirrel realizes that the perfect seashell is right under his nose. Surrounded by friendly people, he decides to join the crowd. Scaredy Squirrel builds sandcastles takes pictures, floats around in the ocean, and sunbathes with the others. He forgets all about the flocks of seagulls, tribes of jellyfish, herds of sea monsters, packs of pirates, tons of falling coconuts, and mobs of lobsters. He's glad to be part of the crowd. Back home, after a day of fun in the sun, Scaredy Squirrel's inspired to make one more important addition to his own beach. A crowd. P.S. 
As for Scaredy's next visit to the beach, it might be sooner than he thinks. And that is the end of the story. Hope you have, everyone has a great day. Thank you.